Good evening. The code enforcement is calling it one of the worst cases they have ever seen. It was yesterday evening they were called to a Terre Haute home regarding animal cruelty. What they found may shock you. Now, we are not showing photos due to their graphic nature. News 10's Lindsay Yates has the latest in tonight's top story. It was just four days ago when Ricky heard something strange coming from her neighbor's yard. I'm walking to my garage one day and I hear this sound and it was his dog. So I, of course, neighborly, I'm going to be in. I went to check on him and I started smelling the stench and happened to look up and there was just blood dripping out of a bag. Her fears were confirmed when a tip led code enforcement to this house at 2037 North 7th Street yesterday evening. We had a complaint of an um, individual uh, with um, bags of decaying meat in his garage. Inside the garage, authorities found two dead kittens. He put them in bags uh, to keep the um, possums out of it, but he didn't throw them in the garbage. Leading Ricky to question if one of them was her cat that recently went missing. Now that everything's come out and this has all happened, it just really makes me wonder that my, if my cat is really over there or not. And remember the dog she originally went to help. He was found alive but had to be euthanized due to health issues brought on by neglect. Horrendous. Um, had um, open sores all over its body. Was some matted fur. There was fly larvae on the animal, coming out of the animal, crawling all over it. A gruesome discovery that has left some in fear. You know, dead animals hanging in your garage, it's not, I'm going to move. In Terre Haute, with photojournalist John Tim, I'm Lindsay Yates, News 10. The homeowner's name is not being released at this time. He has been issued a citation for animal cruelty and is expected to be in court July 18th. We will continue to follow this case and bring you updates as they become available.